Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, may I ask that you be aware of your closest exits in case of an emergency. There are exits on either side of the stage and exits at the rear of the gym. Good evening, family and friends of the class of 2023. Tonight is an evening of special joy and pride for you and a historical moment in the annals of Central Catholic as we celebrate our 85th graduation and add 276 young men and women to the ranks of our alumni. Tonight, we come together to honor these young men and women. The class of 2023 will be preceded by past recipients of Central Catholic's most prestigious Brother Philarantius Award. And then they will be followed by the class of 1973 who are celebrating their 50th class reunion. I ask that the Brother Florentius Award winners and the class of 1973 now process in. I ask the audience to please remain seated as the graduates and faculty process down the aisle. Tonight, acting as graduation marshals for the class of 2023 are Mrs. Christine Leonard, and Mr. Mark Benson. I now declare the 85th commencement exercises of Central Catholic High School officially open. And so, let us begin.
Mr. Christopher Sullivan, Brother Reney, members of the board, Mrs. Keller, members of the administration, faculty, parents, relatives, friends, and graduates of the class of 2023. I am most pleased and honored to welcome you to the 85th commencement of Central Catholic. To begin our graduation ceremony, please join seniors Helena Bernier, Grace Hunt, Sophia Oach, Roxana Panada, and Chloe Smith in the singing of America. I ask that you remain standing after the singing of America as divine Martinez then will lead us in the invocation. Before we continue our long-awaited night, let us take a moment to quiet our hearts and join in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, we are here today to celebrate and recognize all of our accomplishments through this journey called high school. While this event may be met with mixed emotions of excitement and sadness, let us find joy in knowing that we made it through together as a class of 2023. As this chapter in our lives closes, we ask that you guide us and protect us as our new chapter begins. Give us the courage to not only dream our aspirations, but make plans to achieve them. May we be filled with positive thoughts as we continue to use the lessons learned here at Central to continue to live as you intended. Each and every one of us was put here to leave an impact on the world. May we have the strength and courage to be of the best service to others, especially the least favored, even when it seems impossible. Help us to make Jesus known and loved to everyone we encounter. After tonight, we are no longer Central Catholic students, but Central will always be a part of us. May we always remember our Maris family, those we have here and worldwide. As we wear these caps and gowns, we ask you, dear Lord, to be with us now and forever. St. Martian and Champagne. Pray for us. St. Teresa. Pray for us. Mary, our good mother. Pray for us. And let us always remember. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Graduates and guests, please sit. Mr. David DiFilippo will now recognize the class of 1973. Thank you, Mrs. Burns, and good afternoon to everyone, especially a very good afternoon to the graduates of the class of 2023. Fifty years ago, the young men and women in the classes of 1973 from Central Catholic, St. Mary High School, and Presentation of Mary Academy sat in rows of seats as you now do, anxiously awaiting to be awarded their high school diplomas. The Central Catholic High School community is pleased and proud to have with us a number of the alumni 
Men, women are attending another event later this weekend from St. Mary and Presentation of Mary Academy as they celebrate their 50th golden anniversary of their 1973 commencement. <laughs> at ceremonies at different times during this, their golden week, Central awards to each of them a golden anniversary diploma, and we do so for every 50th anniversary class. They also awarded golden medals, which you see on some of the men, on the men who are here today, to signify their status as golden alumni. When these men and women were students in the years 1969 to 1973, the United States experienced many historically significant events. They witnessed the breakthroughs in the space race and proudly cheered U.S. astronauts in the first manned landing on the moon. They watched the televised hearings of the Senate Watergate Committee and heard President Richard Nixon utter the words, I am not a crook. The class of 1973 witnessed the largest Arab-Israeli conflict in the history of the world, with Egypt and Syria attacking the state of Israel. Also in 1973, the Supreme Court ratified its decision on abortion rights in the case of Roe v. Wade. And they, like most Americans, cheered as the U.S. ended its involvement in the Vietnam War by signing the Paris Peace Accords of 1973. The class of 1973, like you, flocked to movie theaters for entertainment, and they were terrified by the year's most popular movie, The Exorcist. And they enjoyed a fiction novel which led its readers to see the world through the eyes of Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Our 1973 honored alumni tuned in every week to the most popular TV shows of the era, All in the Family, MASH, and so many others. They watched the Grammy Awards that year, where an unknown talent by the name of Bette Midler was named the best new artist. And they saw the legendary Secretariat win the Triple Crown in horse racing. One piece of memorabilia may be hard to swallow for you, the class of 2023, and your family. When this class headed to college in 1973, the average public college tuition was $358 a year, while private college annual tuition was $1,600 a year. And before you fall off your chair, the average family income in 1973 was $12,900, and they, these men still needed student loans to make that happen. These are just a few of the memorable events during their high school years at Central Catholic. For many, these events, in one way or another, may have shaped their lives and their values and influenced their chosen paths in life. The men and women of the classes of 1973 are fathers, mothers, grandmothers, grandfathers, husbands, wives, medical and health professionals, volunteers, retirees, yes, lawyers, businessmen and women, first responders, scientists, military veterans, we have one of our alumni standing here who served 31 years in the U.S. Navy and 13 deployments overseas. <laughs> Class of 2023, 50 years from now, in 2073, at your golden anniversary, Central Catholic will too honor you. The Central Catholic community sincerely hopes that the faithfulness of these alumni to the values of Catholic education demonstrated by the class of 73 
will stand both as an example and a strong foundation for your own personal and future achievements. And they can be a model of a life well lived. Class of 2023, the school you proudly graduate from this evening and the traditions you have enjoyed at Central Catholic were built and enriched by our cherished alumni of the class of 73. Please join me with your heartfelt applause in warmly and proudly welcoming home the alumni from the 50th anniversary class. On behalf of the class of 2023, the salutatory welcome will be delivered by Sydney Demers. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sydney Demers, and I am your class salutatorian. Genuinely, it didn't even hit me that we were graduating until this Monday, which is a bit late, I know. Um, I was in religion class, and we were doing our final vibe check, which is essentially our class's daily check-in. Every day, we survey how everyone in the class is feeling on a scale of green, which is happy, blue, which is like meh, and red, which is sad or mad. And the first day, on Monday, it was the first day all year that everyone in the class was green, all 26 of us. It was at that moment that I realized that this is it. Our time here has officially come to the end. The vibe check for our religion class showed it to be the happiest day of the year, and yet many of us were crying. It's been a long journey to get here, High school itself is not easy. And then adding COVID on top, we spent half of our high school careers in masks and then another decent amount of, well, we spent half of our high school careers on Zoom and a decent amount of time in masks as well. And that's just what our environmental situation was like. It did include any of your personal, academic, and social challenges that I know you've all faced. And yet this class persisted and made it through to the end. The fact that everyone here today is in blue robes is a testament to that. We've made it through this chapter of our lives, and today, it's time to move on to the next one. But first, congratulations are in order. So, congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> yes, we're finally done. Took this long. <laughs> High school is over. And it's now, it's our time. Your life is now in your own hands. I want to take this time now to thank a certain group of people who I've dubbed the accompanists. And yes, I did steal that from our Visions magazine, so shout out to whoever wrote that. Um, in this year's Vision magazine, Mr. Cavanaugh was dubbed the accompanist, referencing both his musical prowess and praising his extensive efforts supporting students throughout their high school career. Everyone here has had their own individual accompanists or the people who have supported you throughout high school. It could be your family, the Central Catholic community, or maybe even the person sitting next to you. They have all been by your side and supported you through this stage of your life. To all the accompanists out here, thank you for your support and aid. And to all the students, never forget your accompanists. And always remember you can rely on these people, for they will always support you and your dreams to come. And if there's any time to pursue your dreams, it's now. This is the time in our lives to explore new things, chase your visions, explore things you normally wouldn't, try things you normally wouldn't, and don't forget to have fun along the way. This is your life, and it's undefined. That's the fun of it. It's a big mystery, a massive question mark. Don't be overly concerned with what your future could be, because it's endless. Go out, try new things, and live your best life. Now, for those who know me well, you may know that I love dancing in the rain. 
When I'm soaked from head to toe and rain pouring on my face with music blasting, it's the best feeling. And at that moment, it's just me and the rain. I am there under the water enjoying it. Now, I know we are all looking forward to the future. I am too. But I encourage everyone here not to forget to also live in the moment. Slow down and enjoy the happy moments, the sad moments, and everything in between. The uncertain future is coming, but the present and now, so enjoy it. We only have one life, guys, so live the hell out of it. Thank you. Congratulations again, class of 2023, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you, Sydney. Our president, Mr. Christopher Sullivan, will now address our guests and graduates. Thanks, Sydney. It's always a pleasure to follow someone who speaks so eloquently. Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of all of my friends up here on the stage, I want to welcome all of you to the celebration of some remarkable young men and women. And if you indulge me for just a second, I want to take a second to pay tribute to the parents and the guardians of these fine individuals. The parents and guardians of our graduating seniors have entrusted their sons and daughters to our care during four really important years in their lives. Speaking on behalf of everybody up here on the stage, we want to thank you for the privilege of working with these great young adults. Our admiration for them, seated in front of us, is a tribute to you, their parents and their guardians, and the sacrifices that you have made on their behalf. At this time, I would invite the parents and the guardians and the members of the class of 2023 to please stand and be recognized. And I promise to be brief, but if you'll indulge me for a minute, I'm going to come down here and talk to um, my, Mariah, what's the word? My Brodies, right? Okay. So yesterday, I was having a conversation with Brother Jim, and he was talking about um, a, a pretty good preacher, a good priest, who could deliver an excellent sermon in about two minutes. And as long as he stayed effective, he would put somebody on a timer. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. Who's got a watch for me right now? You got a watch? All right, I want your time. You give me five minutes. When five minutes is up, you give me the sign. And if I'm not done, I promise to land the plane right then and there. All right? You got me? Okay. It was 1,358 days ago that you walked into this gym on September 5th, 2019, for your first time together as a class. I was fortunate enough to speak to you that morning, and I'm fortunate enough to spend a little time with you before you leave tonight. So many memories in those 1,358 days. So many things have happened. You have yours. I have a couple of mine. I'm going to share one with you. I will never, ever forget the fact that every year, Caleb Scott tried so hard to get neon green added to the Land's End list for clothing. <laughs> We're considering it for next year, Caleb. I just want you to know. Every time I came to the gym this year for a liturgy or for a prayer service, I was afraid to leave my office without my phone because I knew that Alex Paglia and Brooke Mahoney were going to demand that I take a selfie with them. And I, God forbid I didn't have my phone with me when I came down. So, and then I also remember right here in this gym two years ago during your chaotic, crazy sophomore hybrid year when you sat here in the gym and you had to sit six feet away from each other and eat lunch apart from your friends, even though it was the one time of the day that you got to take your masks off. I have my memories, you have your memories. But tonight is not about memories. My challenge to you tonight is to look ahead, to look forward. Tonight is about beginnings. There's a reason why we call it commencement. It's not the end of something, it's the beginning of the next thing. And it wouldn't be a good graduation speech if I didn't have a couple of poignant quotes. So I'm going to quote three famous philosophers, 
all of whom are Catholic. One is a musician from New Jersey. One of them is a 12th century Dominican monk. And one of them is a famous Italian from room 228. <laughs> You've learned all kinds of lessons from the, up on the stage and from each other. But those lessons are useless unless you take them with you where you go. And not to mention gather a few more lessons along the way. And that's where the first philosopher, Bruce Springsteen, comes into play. Now I know I'm dating myself because you're not Springsteen fans. The people in the bleachers probably are, probably some of your parents and grandparents. But there was a really famous Springsteen song from the 80s called Glory Days. And in that song, its song is about people who are not happy in their life. And so they spend time, any quality time they have, thinking about the past, thinking about the good things that happened to them in the past. The lyrics of the song go, glory days, they'll pass you by. Glory days in the blink of a young girl's eye. Do not, I hope you had a wonderful time here in the last four years, but don't make them your glory days. Your glory days need to be in front of you. In fact, every single day needs to be a glory day. And that's where I get to the second philosopher. Meister Reinhardt was a Dominican monk from the 12th century. When he was alive, he actually got in a lot of trouble. His ideas were considered pretty radical. Today, we pretty much view him as a significant philosopher and a Catholic mystic. He said a lot of things, but this is one of the things he said that I really clung to, especially for tonight. He said, you have to be willing to be a beginner every single day. I'm going to repeat that. You have to be a beginner every single day. I think that Mr. Reinhardt, Ike Eckhart, Meister Eckhart, and Bruce Springsteen would have got along together pretty well. He's saying that every day needs to be a glory day. And now it gets me to the last philosopher, Mr. Vin Pastore. It was right here in this gym last Thursday on Ascension Thursday when Mr. Pastore told us that Jesus had ascended into heaven. His job on earth was done, but that he left us with some work to do. Mr. Pastore's direct quote was that we all have a lot of Jesus' work left to do. Let's keep our feet moving forward in that path. In a few minutes, you're all going to go up on that stage and you're going to get your Central Catholic Diploma. That diploma is not a celebration of what you've already done. It is, in fact, a celebration of what you are capable of doing. The men and women on that stage who love you so much they know what you're capable of doing. We know what you're capable of doing. You find out what you're capable of doing, and you make every single one of your days a glory day. We love you. Welcome to the ranks of Central Catholic alumni. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Tonight is a special night as we have the commissioning of Michaela Staniak. This evening, we are honored to have retired Lieutenant Colonel George Adamakis with us. I asked the Lieutenant and Colonel and Michaela Staniak to come to the stage. Colonel Adamakis will now commission Michaela to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lieutenant Colonel George Adamakos, as Principal Keller told you. I'm a U.S. retired Army officer and graduate of the class of 1978. And I'm the liaison officer for the United States Military Academy 
at West Point for the Seacoast region of New Hampshire. Now, some of you may say, uh, I think you're lost because this is in New Hampshire, but Michaela happens to come from New Hampshire. Actually, we live in the same town of Exeter, and I'm here to make an appointment certificate, to present her appointment certificate to the class of 2027. The mission of West Point is of, of West Point is to educate, train, and inspire the Corps of Cadets so that each graduate is a commissioned leader of character committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and gaining professional growth throughout a career as an officer in the United States Army and a lifetime of service to the nation. Michaela, who is stepping up to accept the challenges of the West Point mission and a scholarship that includes all tuition, room, board, books, uniforms, medical and dental care, training costs, and pay is currently valued at $400,000. I'm sure she's going to earn every penny of it on your behalf. Each year, some 12,000 young men and women apply for admission to West Point, and only approximately 1,200 are accepted. Those who are accepted will spend the next four years at a beautiful, historic, and demanding place that is unquestionably the world's premier leadership institution, a place with such famous leaders such as Eisenhower, MacArthur, Grant, Lee, Patton, Schwarzkopf, and me <laughs> among its graduates. <clears throat> I always, I, I added that in there. It's not part of the speech, but. <laughs> in addition to leadership, West Point is also among the nation's top academic institutions. It offers almost 30 academic majors in both the sciences and humanities and has produced more Rhodes Scholars than any other college or university in the country except for Harvard, Princeton, and Yale. It has also produced more winners of the Hertz Fellowship, the scientific equivalent of the Rhodes, than all other schools except for Stanford and MIT. West Point cadets undergo a rigorous mandatory physical training, leadership development, and moral ethical training program to develop those attributes necessary to become a leader of character as an officer serving our soldiers, our army, and our nation. Michaela is a great example of the young Americans West Point seeks to lead our soldiers and the Army. They are well-rounded and at the top of their pay group in three areas, academics, leadership, and athletics. Academically, they score in the top percentiles of the SAT and ACT. In the leadership arena, almost 90% of a typical class are in varsity letters and nearly 45% were team captains. A significant amount of them were Eagle Scouts, Girl Scout Gold Award winners, boys and girls state representatives, or the president of their class, student body, or club. Your classmate has demonstrated a high level of achievement in all the areas I have mentioned. Upon graduation from West Point, Michaela would become a member of the noblest profession in the world, an officer in the United States Army. As an officer, she will be entrusted with the responsibility of leading your sons and daughters around the world. In these trying times, it is important that we all realize the magnitude of this responsibility, and Michaela has proven to date she has what it takes to su succeed at West Point and in our Army. I am confident she'll do a great job at West Point. I know her family, friends, and community are already very proud of her. So on behalf of the President of the United States, it gives me great pleasure to present Michaela Staniak with the Certificate Appointment to West Point Class of 2027. I didn't finish yet. Uh, <laughs> so congratulations, Michaela, and go Army, beat Navy. Thank you. 
Now, on behalf of the class of 2023, Brooke Mahoney and Mika McLean will present this year's Florentian Yearbook Dedication. While we look to our teachers to help achieve academic success, there is more to being a teacher than just the academics. Good teachers don't teach you only about history or science, they teach you about life. Over the past 19 years, this teacher has always put their students first. This teacher is there to help before and after school and even on Zoom. His classroom serves as a place of learning, collaboration, and belonging. This teacher also plays a major role among our Central Catholic community outside the classroom by sharing his many artistic talents with the Theater Guild, liturgical band, Visions Coffee House, or showing his artwork during the Art Expo. He has also been known to bring out a guitar during a physics lesson to do a karaoke session, or do a quick check-in with students as he passes them in the hall. Warmth and kindness truly does radiate from him in everything he does for our central community. This teacher exemplifies what it means to be a merits educator. His, student, his talents as a teacher and artist, along with his genuine kindness for everyone, is evident in his every action. Although this is his final year at Central Catholic, his impact on our community will be everlasting. We're proud to award this year's Flemish in dedication to Mr. Mr. Kavanaugh. Mr. Kavanaugh. <laughs> The class of 2023 graduation. Tonight you will graduate. In two weeks, I'll retire. But it's, it's not the first time I'm retiring. I retired before you were born from the telecommunications business. And since I left that career, I've had a career teaching here. This is my second career, and of the two, this is the one I love. Now, what do I mean by love? Well, let me, if I refer to my friends here, fellow faculty, by the way, give them a hand. If you were to ask any one of the faculty, staff, or administration why they teach here, they would go, that's easy. It's the students. What is it about the students? You're special. You're intelligent. You're hardworking. You're spiritual. You're fun. Your range of talents is amazing from fields into concert halls and art rooms, everything. It's an amazing group. And, uh, but the most important thing that makes you guys so unique and so special is each and every one of you is a very good person. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for including me in the graduating class of 2023. Thank you very much. God bless you. we wish to rec recognize those members of the class of 2023 who have distinguished themselves by their performance and contributions to Central Catholic High School. Within this evening's program, you will find a listing of graduates. Please take note of those seniors 
who have distinguished themselves as members of the National Honor Society. We ask members of the Marist Chapter of the National Honor Society wearing gold cords to stand and be recognized. Thank you. Also, AP capstone diplomas have been earned by seven members of the class of 2023. Would the following students please stand and be recognized for your rigorous academic work and research accomplishments? Sydney Demers, Colin Fagg, Allison Lightburn, Ranjana Ramesh, Stephanie Sayeg, Caleb Scotch, and Azul Wilson. <laughs> Once again, we applaud these graduates for their outstanding scholastic accomplishments. And now members of the class of 2023 wearing red cord are our legacy graduates. These graduates have parents and or grandparents who have preceded them as graduates of Central Catholic High School or St. Mary's High School and Presentation of Mary Academy. We ask you to please stand and be recognized and we hope you will carry this legacy forward. Thank you. This year, the Outstanding Student Athlete Awards will be presented to a young woman and a young man who have distinguished themselves in the field of athletics while maintaining good academic standing. Mr. Zachary Blasak, Director of Athletics, will present this year's awards. The award for the Outstanding Female Student Athlete is presented in honor of Mary Kilcoyne, an early benefactor of Central. The Kilcoyne Award for 2023 is presented to Jacqueline Daney. The award for the Outstanding Male Student Athlete is presented in honor of Michael Garvey, an early benefactor of Central Catholic. The Garvey Award for 2023 is presented to Preston Zinter. The next award will be presented by Mrs. Vicki Izzo Blazak and Mr. Tim Hart. The Brother Vincent Deneen Christian Service Award is given in memory of Brother Vincent Deneen, a Marist brother who served Central Catholic for over 30 years as a teacher and administrator. Brother Vincent, up until the time of his retirement, which was well into his 80s, 
dedicated his afternoons and often his weekends visiting and being good company and present to the sick, the lonely, and the bedridden residents of the Mary Immaculate Nursing Home. His example of service to the least favored is the inspiration for this award. The Brother Vincent Deneen Christian Service Award is presented to the graduating senior who best exemplifies and lives out Central's ideal of serving the least favored. This year's award is presented to Emma Gordon. At this time, I would ask Mrs. Keller to speak and Mr. Sullivan to come to center stage. Joining us this evening are alumni who are members of our Central Catholic staff and previous recipients of the Brother Florentius Award. So at this time, we ask all past recipients of this award to come forward. The Brother Florentius Award, named for the founder of Central Catholic High School in 1935, is the highest honor that can be given to a member of the graduating class. The recipient of this award is an outstanding graduate whose character exemplifies the spirit and qualities of Brother Florentius. This graduate is rooted in deep faith and exhibits Christian virtues of love, compassion, and concern for the least favored. This student has dedicated a remarkable amount of time, talent, and energy to the Central Catholic community. Their leadership and positive example have helped to make Central Catholic a better and stronger community. This member of the class of 2023 has demonstrated the willingness to take risks in the service of a good cause and the courage to do the right thing even it was when it was not popular to do so. Our president, Mr. Christopher Sullivan, will present the 2023 Florentius Award. I am honored to announce that this year's Brother Florentius Award winner is presented to Andrew Kreiner. Honored guests and graduates, it is a pleasure now for me to present the class of 2023 co-valedictorians, Allison Lightburn and Ranjana Ramesh.
Allison will deliver the first address. Good evening. Let me start by saying congratulations to the class of 2023. We spent four great years together, studying, practicing, chatting, complaining, laughing, but most importantly, making many wonderful memories and lasting friendships. While everyone here experienced high school in their own unique way, each of our journeys share common features. We all entered Central Catholic as young teens, both nervous about being surrounded by unfamiliar faces and excited about all the school offered us. And now, as we all look around the room filled with familiar faces of our closest friends, favorite teachers, and loving family members, we can reminisce over the bonds we have formed and the stories that we share. Because of the importance of our relationships and helping us to grow into the young adults we are today, I want to begin by thanking the noteworthy people who impacted our high school careers. First, I want to thank the classmates, teammates, and friends with whom we enjoyed countless moments. For some of us, the memories we carry with us may consist of games, both the exciting wins as well as the heartbreaking losses, demanding practices, and pasta dinners. For others, they consist of club meetings, field trips, theater practices, musical performances, and group projects. Cheering on fellow Raiders on the field, in the theater, and in the classroom brought us all closer as a class. And of course, we appreciate most the friends who always stand by us, give us advice, and make us smile. For all of us, our best times at Central involve these communities we become a part of and the lifelong friendships that we have built. Due to these strong bonds, we are able to confidently end this chapter of our lives and begin the next, knowing that we will always have people we can rely on to help us. Next, I want to acknowledge our dedicated and hardworking teachers for the time and energy that they invested preparing us for bright futures, both in and out of the classroom. During my four years here, I've been astounded by the number of educators willing to stay after hours to give extra help, the quick email replies when we ask questions, or the multitude of times in which they found ways to prioritize fun in conjunction with challenging coursework. It is obvious that our teachers care deeply about us, and I'm sure everyone feels grateful for all of the work they have put in to help us reach this point in our academic careers. With our teachers, our coaches and group leaders also instilled the principles of discipline and teamwork that we can apply to our future plans. Finally, I want to thank our families and those that we consider family for their guidance and encouragement. During our early high school years, they drove us to practices, meetings, and events. They asked us about our days and encouraged or comforted us when needed. They showed us how proud of us they were by attending our performances and games and always rooting for us. Luckily, their love and support will continue throughout the rest of our lives. On a more personal note, I would like to thank my parents, and especially my sister Maggie, who is also graduating, for making me the person I am today. Last year, Serena Williams gave a speech commemorating her retirement, in which she stated that she wouldn't be Serena if there wasn't Venus. I believe the sentiment relates to my sister and I as well. There is no alley without Maggie. For all of us, I think that the continued support of our communities will be essential as we continue to mature into adulthood. And I know that for most of us, growing up can be scary. This fear isn't negative. It's a natural response to change. But often, this change leads to some of the best and most exciting parts of life. When we first entered high school, even if we didn't admit it, we felt anxious. We questioned whether we would be able to make the team, pass a test, or find new friends. But now, as we all gather in our caps and gowns, celebrating the last day at our school, I also recognize that this fear was well worth it. Even if it took some time, as well as trial and error, we found our place and are leaving high school with more happy memories than sad. As we continue on to a trade, to the military, or to college, I'm sure we will often experience the discomfort of fear. But this fear shouldn't stop us from leaving our comfort zone and experiencing all that life has to offer. We need to embrace the change that causes the uneasiness. Whether you reach out and talk to somebody who has different interests than yourself, 
sign up for a challenging class, or try out a different club or sport. It is important that you not let fear hold you back. You may just find a new friend, a new passion, or another story to tell. I don't think that you'll ever regret trying something new, but you will regret missing out on some of life's best adventures because you were too afraid to act. Sometimes, exploring the unfamiliar or engaging in a different activity may not work out like you planned. Maybe you don't end up feeling passionate about your initial major, or your new place in the world doesn't live up to expectations. Just because things don't go your way once doesn't mean that you should become paralyzed by the fear that they'll go wrong again. To quote my favorite show, Ted Lasso, you know what the happiest animal on earth is? It's a goldfish. It has a 10 second memory. Be a goldfish. I think that we should listen to this advice. I'm not endorsing the idea that we should disregard everything we learn, but I do recommend refusing to allow the thoughts of failure to hinder us from continuing to attempt to find our purpose and our future. Something totally unexpected could end up making your life better, and you would never know unless you are able to overcome your doubts and make a change. Another thing that Ted Lasso says that I know that we all will all eventually learn is that everything in your life may not work out how you think it will or how you currently hope it does, but believe me, it will all work out. And I believe that our Central Catholic community stands at the ready to assist us in making sure everything really will work out. Central Catholic has provided us with the tools necessary to reach our goals. During our time here, we learn lessons that we can carry through the rest of our lives. We realized that reaching out for help is always worthwhile. We learned to face adversity with grace. We discovered the importance of both working hard, but also having fun. Central also emphasized the value of giving back to our community. True contentment comes from serving others. All of our experiences here have prepared us for now, the moment when we will go off on our own. What we have done here over the past four years has made me completely confident that we have what it takes to lead successful and meaningful lives. So today, we will leave the school the same way we entered so long ago, with applause and cheers, along with nervousness and excitement for what will come. But for now, instead of looking towards the future, we should all go celebrate our accomplishments with those who mean the most to us. Thank you for a great four years, and again, congratulations to the class of 2023. We did it. Thank you, Ivan. Ranjana will now present her address. Greetings, parents families, faculty, friends, alumni, to all our distinguished guests. Please allow me to introduce you to the last name ever, first name greatest class of 2023. I am so grateful to have the honor of this address. This celebration is for you, and it is thanks to all of your efforts that we have come to this point. And so I'd like to celebrate all of you. This is your day. I've been checking the school calendar a lot lately, and it seems that our days here have always been numbered. <laughs> and so I'd like to say, so I'd like to say, high school is a lot like buying a house. It's one of the biggest investments you might ever make. The neighborhood you end up in matters a lot. The people beside you who can help raise you up and prop you up on the hard days. Fortunately, though our econ and finance students could describe it better, it is an investment that appreciates and appreciates, going up in value over time. As time has passed, we've forged more relationships and written more pages of our story. And unlike gold, silver, or even fictional vibranium, the value of this house and these years never fluctuates, making these years more precious to us. Central is a neighborhood where we spent six to eight and sometimes even 10 hours a day. Nothing could be more comfy than those library couches on long days. I found myself in the best community I could ever hope for, and for that I am truly thankful. 
Our story begins in freshman year when we choose our home. We arrive feeling ready, keys in hand, furniture picked out, only to find chaos and no one really quite knows what they're doing. Remember the lunch thermos? Mine was always screwed so tightly as if it needed to remain closed until 2089. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> as a freshman, okay, even now, even now, I need to ask third lunch seniors for help to open it. Let me tell you, it makes you feel really unqualified for high school. Not to worry though, we have many willing guides. Our teachers, our coaches, familiar faces, our peers, everyone is ready to point you in the right direction, but it's up to you to call for help. It was the year we won our first pep rally, fairly, when Ben threw a football from the horseshoe and made it. And we made our very first central friends. Sophomore year arrives. The birds are singing, everyone is playing among us, but it is during the COVID year and life isn't easy. Why is Monday so far from Friday if Friday is so close to Monday? Age old question there. It was a time when everyone's lawn started to look a lot nicer than mine. I've since come to realize that the grass is always going to look greener in other places. It's not up to us to decide where the grass is greenest. I mean, sure, the turf looks beautiful, but we're not about to move out there. The truth is, the grass is greenest where you water it. Here's an inexplicable note I put in my journal, Monday, August 10th, 2020. The cracked bowl holds less soup than the whole bowl, but as long as the crack isn't too big, they can both hold the same number of pennies. Um, <laughs> shower thought, I guess, but I think what I meant to say is that it's impossible to never fail. We all fail in our lives. And it is in these moments that we can turn what seems like a weakness into a strength. And now I'd like to quote from a well-known philosopher, someone we all have heard. As Drake has said, you lose some and you win some, as long as the outcome is income. <laughs> <laughs> Working with the negatives can make for better pictures. And ain't that the truth? <laughs> Junior year, you feel like the house is falling to pieces around you. But sometimes it's essential to fix the roof and mend the leaks and take steps to make things better. It's okay to change your mind and try new things and make a mess of it and start afresh. Believe me, I would know. I went on the encounter retreat and participated more in DECA and the neuroscience club. I stopped doing theater after three years. Those activities shaped me as a person and have sparked some of my fondest memories. I went to more games and visions coffee houses. I helped plan pep rallies and was blown away by the sheer talent of my classmates. We have had numerous MVC championships, two final four performances, incredible shows and concerts, and we went to Gillette for the Super Bowl. We are like scarecrows, outstanding in our field. <laughs> there comes a time though, when you have to leave the house where you grew up. As heavy as the heart is when this day comes, I'm happy to say your investment is already paying off. The house has become a home because of the cherished memories, the cherished priceless moments that have occurred within these walls. Every game, every class, every prayer, each time we laughed, the times we cried, the beautiful weather days outside, the black ice, heavy snow days. I know all you drivers know about the skidding. The sunrises, the sunsets, the selfies in chem, the kickball games, the freshman days, the retreats, the moments that make it so hard to say goodbye are the moments that you never need to say goodbye to. You can always come home and will always have Central to come home to. We will keep dreaming and keep striving for excellence. We can do little things that ripple outward and create impact in a thousand other little ways. Trust me, life will be wonderful. On that note, I want to offer some thank yous. I'd like to thank my beloved teachers and faculty. Thank you for imparting your wisdom and mentorship day in and day out. Ms. Sicolo, Ms. Sabri, Mr. Welch, Mr. Clements, Ms. Parsons, Mr. Grella, Mr. B, Mr. Boucher, Mr. Cav, Coach A, Mrs. Chase, too many to count. My advisors and administration, Ms. Burns, Mrs. Keller, Mrs. Kreiner, Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Sansuzzi, Ms. Thompson, Mr. Sipsy, and Murray, even on those no ID days, 
Ms. Petro, Mr. Brown, Mr. and Mrs. Blazak, Mr. Hart, Mr. Nunez and the staff, Ms. Dear Ms. Antigua and your daily quotes, Ms. Susan and Dean, Mr. Sexton, the many people who make this place feel like home. Thank you all for being there for us, for your guidance and efforts to put success always within our reach. You are the strong and powerful foundation for our lives. To my family, who is all here, my sister, grandma, especially my mom, who has been my biggest and most constant supporter. Without you, mom, none of this would be possible. To my inspirations, Rob and Leah, dear friends, Paul and Sally, Auntie Mabel, my adoptive grandpa and constant mentor, Dr. Puppet, my teachers at SJA. Thank you for being here for me now and always. And to Naveen, my little brother and best friend and partner in crime, I can't imagine going to school without you next year. I have you to thank for keeping me calm and inspiring me, and I'm so proud to be your sister. To my dear classmates and friends, I wish I could thank you all personally, but we'd really be here forever. My religion class, my dear student council, my Red Sea buddies, my very best friends. As our paths diverge, I'm honored to look out at this class and at our schoolmates and to imagine the astonishing things we will all do. I have so much love for you and can't thank you enough for making these past four years so special. And so, as the Irish blessing goes, may you always have walls for the wind, a roof for the rain, laughter to cheer you on, and those you love near you. God bless. I wish you all the very best of luck and see you at the reunion. Thank you, Ranjana. At this time, I'd like Mrs. Keller to present our graduates. Tonight, we are celebrating the accomplishments of 276 graduates. These young men and women have been offered admission to 297 different colleges and universities. Our students will matriculate at 122 different colleges in 32 different states, as well as in Canada and Italy. To date, our students have been awarded close to $9 million in merit scholarships to continue their studies next year and an estimated $36 million over the course of their undergraduate studies. We are very proud of the class of 2023. <laughs> For the convenience of both the audience and graduates alike, and to keep this evening's pro proceedings moving, we ask that you refrain from applauding until the name of the last graduate has been read. Mr. Sullivan, the members of the class of 2023 will now be presented to you. Since they have successfully completed the prescribed course of studies and requirements of Central Catholic High School, I ask you, by the virtue of the authority invested in you by the state of Massachusetts, to award diplomas to the following young men and women. Jaden Abizay. Adrian X. Azevedo. Isabella Elise Aguila. Aleni Lucia Alvarez Cabrera. Nicholas Adam Ambrose. Charlie James Antonopoulos. Shreya Banerjee. Fallon Elizabeth Barr. 
The diploma will be presented by Ali Ali Silverio Belkis to Jason Dario Belkis. Luca Beltrandi. Rocco Edward Beltrandi. Nicholas Benoit. Isabella Grace Barad. Helena Louise Bernia. Christopher Jason Bethia. Kyle Matthew Bishop. Grace Blanchett. Mr. Christopher Merrill will present the next diploma to Isabella Grace Blunt. James Patrick Bohenko. Nairish Bowl. Bella Borefiel. Marquise Bridgewater. Madison Margaret Briggs. Timothy McDonough Briley. Abigail Grace Brown. Andrew Kafua. Sophia Danielle Camacho. Ty Mason Canestraro. Shaylin Carey. Grace Elizabeth Cashman. Zara Catalbus. Yohaleni Ceballos. Stephanie Shamoon. Amelia K. Cheem. Gianna Marie Champa. Kate Seleski. Brooke Colloran. Eva Salvatrice Kutu. Nicole Cavino. Jaden Craig. Kaylin Marie Creeley. James Lee Crippen. Liam Cronin. Emma Catherine D'Agostino. Anthony DeBoer. Tatiana Carlos Deher. Melvin De La Rosa. Jacqueline Grace Daney. Jeremy Antonio De La Cruz. Matthew DeLuca. Sydney Demers. Sophie DeRoches. The diploma will be presented by Ernest DeFiore to Olivia Ryan DeFiore. Daniela Maria Denito. 
Deidre N. Donovan. Riley Doyle. Caitlin M. Drew. Thomas E. Druitt. Patrick William Druin. Grace Ann Drevicheski. Danielle Dwan. Jack E. Dumaresk. Cameron Dunkley. Janessa Faith Duran. Andrew Duval. Tara Esther Duvalier. Janelle Ashandu. Wyatt Eck. Frank Chakuma Eke the Third. Reem Elahiriri. Kenachuku Izeoke. Colin S. Fag. Benjamin Thomas Paletra. Adam Benares. Isabel Walsh Baden. Jeradiah Alaya Felice Bimut. Sarah Matani Favendrat. Ryan P. Finn. Sean Patrick Finneran Jr. Eric Fisher. Julia Nicole Frenna. Benjamin W. Furry. Andrew Michael Gallagher. Victoria Serena Garcia. Tyler M. Jenner. Alexandra George. Alira Jean Godin. Monique Irene. Gonzalez Tellis. Emma Carol Gordon. Jennifer A. Go. Sean Patrick Gray. Matthew Thomas Gregoire. Pablo Bulon. Olivia Riley Gillette. Jamalet Guzman. Kyle Edward Hanley. Benjamin Patrick Harrington. Grace Margaret Harrison. Reese Hartman. Connor P. Hickenbottom. Ella Hickenbottom. Grace Elizabeth Hunt. Ella Hurley. Sarah Catherine Isaac. 
Marcus Ives. Cameron Mitchell Jankowski. Annabelise Javier. Adrielle Javier. Julia Marias Jesus. Nico William Cady. Juliana Khalil. George Nicholas Carafalidis. Nathan Raymond Connie. Megan Irene Cecilia Kennedy. Finnegan Penny. Christina Kibbe. Anthony Duan Kim. Madison Ariana King. Tyler Anthony Kirby. Robert H. Kirby. Andrew Kreiner. The diploma will be presented by Mrs. Jody Linehan Kreiner. Luke Michael Lachance. Julian LaFond. Maxwell Lane. Elise Maciel Lara. Matthias Latham. Ayana Kayla Latulip. Dylan Liebitz. Adriana Sophia LeBlanc. In absentia, Yitong Lee. Allison Denise Lightburn. Margaret Elizabeth Lightburn. Megan Elizabeth Linzer. Haley R. Liriano. Jalice Thais Lopez. Evan Lugli. Rachel Kate Lucier. The diploma will be presented by Mrs. Brenda Lyons to Melina Adele Lyons. <laughs> Connor James McDougall. Brooke Taylor Mahoney. Danielle Julia Mayu. Brandon Maiori. Brooke Malby. Lucius William Manzi. Madeline Marcella. Ian Thomas Maresca. Anthony J. Marinaro. Divine Martinez. Hermes Martinez. Pamela Mateo de Villa. Trevor Maxwell. Oh, 
Madison Elizabeth McAloon. In absentia, Colin McCarthy. Mac Turner McCarthy. Samantha Jean McGee. Mika K. Juan McLean. Francisco Paul Melendez. Abelmi Jesus Mena Pichado. Miguel Mercedes. Evan Mercier. Sean McCurry. Will Neely. Matthew Robert Miller. Brooke Moore. Kaiden Antonio Morabel. Easton Morse. Nick Stephen Moser. Matthew Joseph Mucci. John Patrick Murphy. Shayla Laurieann Marie Murphy. Eva Nanji. Mariah Lee Navarro. Johnny Nguyen. Tyler Stephen Normandy. Ariana Kai Nunez. Sophia Oach. Aiden James O'Mara. Jarrell Ortega. Kaylees Ortega. Alexandra Gray Paglia. Anastasia Marie Panas. Mark Papalato. Michael Joseph Papalato, Jr. Gabriella Jeanette Castor. Anya Patel. Altiana Paul. Francesca Altagracia Polino. Ava Paulus. The diploma will be presented by Mark Pelletier to John Pelletier. <laughs> Arian Perez. <laughs> Patricia Pham. John M. Philbin. Allison Rose Phillips. 
Roxana Ariana Pinata. Maulette Placencia. Jaziel Polanco. Andrew David Pucci. Elizabeth Antonetta Rea. Ranjana Ramesh. James Regan. Aiden Recesso. Luke Joseph Reller. Emma Royal Rapisi. Ancelis Reyes. Brian Rich. Ju Julian Amir Rijo. Marcus Rivera. William Rizos. Matthew Christian Robinson. Joanny Release Rodriguez. Frank Joseph Rondinelli III. Isaiah Rosario. <laughs> Jack Ryan Rossetti. Caroline Grace Rook. Cameron Marie Rueda. Emily Rose Ryan. Michael James Ryan. Sophia Saber. Taisha Salazar. Camila Saldariago Rojas. Santani Esther Sanchez. Stephanie Marie Sayeg. Caleb Matthew Scotch. Camille Meredith Scudder. Alex Javier Serrano Santiago. Kiana Abigail Severino. Ava Dawn Shea. Jack Silverio. Cecilia Sinopoli. Chloe Smith. Edward Joseph Smith. The diploma is presented by Kathleen Smith to Kathleen Vale Smith. <laughs> David Solomon. <laughs> Aliyah Soto. <laughs> Nicholas Spiro, Ashling Stott, Michaela Jane Staniak, Kate Stevens. The diploma is presented by Tammy Stott to Morgan Stott.
Samuel Edward Stroika. Jaden Swati. Delia May Sullivan. Sarah Elizabeth Summerton. Gianna Serpernot. Jacqueline Patricia Sweeney. Jason Thomas Zeicher. Jocelyn Tedda. Ronald Tiven. Ryan Thomas. Laura Dorothy Thomas Roy. Erin Nicole Teresi. Drew Trembley. Michael Tringali. Franklin Trinidad. Molly Marie Trisketta. Bridget Underwood. Madison Olivia Upton. Juladies Urena. Ryan Boleyn. Alan C. Van. Rosanna Vasquez. Sanfrivi Venkat. Angel Virat. Madison Kimball Wade. Mr. Joseph Welch will present the diploma to Elizabeth Welch. Natasha Page Widmayer. Jaden Wiggins. Alexander Thomas Kavanaugh Willen. Noah D. Williams. Azul Wilson. Richard Wurtnen. Cameron Riley Woods. Zoe Georgia Exidius. John Yang. Preston Grant Zinter. Isabella Marie Swain.
And at this time, I ask the class of 2023 to please stand and for Ranjana Ramesh to come to the stage. As new graduates, join your class president in moving your tassel from the right to the left. It is an honor to present the class of 2023. And now I'm going to ask the graduates to please remain standing as the faculty, administration, and board of directors offer a final blessing upon the class of 2023. When the blessing has been completed, I'd like James Bohenko, Francisco Melendez, Ranjana Ramesh, and Nicholas Spiro to come to the podium and lead us in the singing of the alma mater. As the graduates leave this evening, I ask our guests to remain in their places and not block the aisles. Mr. Kavanaugh, would you please lead us in the benediction? As a sign of Christ's presence in our central Catholic community, will the faculty, staff, administrators, and board members please stand and extend your right hand to bless the young men and women who make up the class of 2023. Graduates, please bow your heads. Your response to each of the blessings is amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you. Amen. May your love for one another overflow more and more. And may you keep growing in knowledge and understanding. Amen. May the God of peace make you complete in everything good, so you may do God's will. Amen. May St. Marcelin Champagne's commitment to the least favored inspire you to serve others and make Jesus known and loved. Amen. May we all be blessed, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Ebord, would you please come forward?